Boeing is expected to spend $2.8 billion on NASA's brand new exploration upper stage. So why did they just post a virtual rendered square as progress? Here's the deal. The current Space Launch System configuration relies on the Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, or ICPS, built by United Launch Alliance. The ICPS, essentially a modified second stage from ULA's Delta rocket family, is tailored to work with the Orion spacecraft for the first three Artemis missions. As its name suggests, the interim part is key. It's a temporary solution, a placeholder, until a more capable successor takes over. The ICPS has proven its abilities on Artemis 1, providing the necessary thrust to propel Orion into lunar orbit. However, its limitations in power and payload capacity make it inadequate for the more ambitious goals of Artemis 4 and beyond, which aim to deliver heavier payloads, including components for the Lunar Gateway space station and sustained lunar surface operations. Enter the Exploration Upper Stage, the next-generation powerhouse designed to replace the ICPS starting with Artemis IV. That's what Boeing is working on at NASA's Mashoud Assembly Facility. It's one of the upgrades coming to the SLS rocket in its new Block 1B configuration, providing a boost in payload capacity and a stretch to the rocket's height that also necessitates a brand new launch platform. This week, the company announced it completed the first thrust structure for this stage. It connects the four RL-10 engines to the rest of the upper stage and transfers the loads or thrust from the engines to the rocket. That's an upgrade from the single RL-10 which powers the ICPS and if you really want to get into the details, technically the engine itself will also be upgraded from the RL-10B2 to the RL-10C3. So here we go, finally some good progress with EUS flight hardware. Well, no, the completed piece is not meant for flight. It's for the structural test article that will be tested to ensure it meets all of NASA's requirements and transfers the thrust in a way that doesn't damage the upper stage. But Boeing did say it's already working on the first flight-worthy thrust structure as well. Now, here's the thing which has been generating all the fuss on social media. Weirdly, for whatever reason, Boeing didn't actually share any pictures of the completed thrust structure, but instead just some computer-generated images showing what it would look like. So we'll have to trust them that they actually built it, but why didn't they share it? Perhaps it's outfitted with something proprietary, or maybe Boeing forgot that a square is a basic geometric shape and that they thought it needed protection from public eyes. It's anyone's guess, really. Despite the odd PR choice, Boeing's progress on the EUS is a positive step for the Artemis program. The recent passage of the so-called Big Beautiful Bill by Congress has secured the SLS program's future through Artemis V, silencing earlier uncertainties under the current administration, which had considered cancelling SLS after Artemis III. Moving forward, Boeing's ability to deliver, and perhaps show, tangible progress will be crucial. For now, we'll just have to trust their word on the thrust structure and hope future updates come with real photos not just rendered squares. I've been Ryan Caden for NSF. Thanks for watching and goodbye.